as the devil will has been tasked to kill. Gods. Is he still on my tail? <laughs> I'm embarrassed for him. You with the so-called paladins of Tyr? Or straight from the Grand High Devil herself? Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. Githyanki lay their eggs on other planes. They cannot mature in the astral. I will only be welcomed once I obtain a Mind Flayer's head.
hells? Get over here and help! If we don't deal with them gnolls, none of us are getting out of here alive. Thanks. Me and the boy will do what we can to help. We've still got some fight in us. Where do I go from here? Have to keep going. Something good here, I hope. Never seen a knoll up close till today. Hope I never do again. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. The weave is served. Thank the gods that's over. Wish you'd been with us when the beasts attacked on the road. Might have been more survivors. I don't suppose you saw any of my crew alive out there. Damn it. I guess that's a no. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Tarenths. Tarenths are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. Listen, I'm indebted to you. 
And that's why I'm giving you a chance to walk away before you get yourself killed. You made short work of the Knolls. Reckon you'd make shorter work of me and the boy. But we're not merchants, we're Zahentarim agents. Steal from us and you'll have a price on your head. If there are valuable goods on the move, the Black Company's always involved. We're the grease that keeps the wheels of commerce turning. And we don't take kindly to people who meddle in our business. This is the point when a clever lad like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. Where you think. Didn't expect to turn this horror show to my advantage, but why not? The chest's all yours. Damn thing's sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings, so there's no point in trying to open it. I know a fence in Baldur's Gate who'll take it off your hands. Nobody will be the wiser. Don't try to cut me out of the deal, though. The Black Network has eyes and blades everywhere. Crafty swine like you could make a name for yourself in the Zahentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. Passphrase at the door is, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. I'll tell my associates to expect you. That one is remarkable, as if the ah! battle stance itself. Rathajak, a technique known to few outside Kalir. Shall I teach you? I'll pass. Thank you. I prefer abjuration over acrobatics. Well, lad, it's our lucky day after all. Might be useful. Traps, please. One day I'll catch a break.
Maybe I need more pockets. What if this crash doesn't work out? What if your kin fail? To reach the crash, my kin will provide. Any failure will be mine alone. If you say so. Just don't expect me to put all my eggs in the same basket. That expression must sound curious to a gith Yankee, given the way they're birthed. What's inside? Great God, help. Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. Queen Blacketh. What tales of her reaches are terrifying. This unity, fear and beauty, life and unlife, eyes like onyx, teeth like daggers. There is none more perfect. Sounds vile. I assume the meaning of perfect was lost in translation. A dragon rider. My kin are near. Damn thing could blot out the sun. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? Gresham? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. 
There's plenty of us around. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Rider, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Stay back. Now, now, child, your pet means to speak. Tell me, pet, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Perceptive for such an inferior creature. For you to keep sucking air, it is necessary for you to tell me something of worth. A vessel fell from the sky. We seek a precious weapon that was taken from it. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Don't help them. Don't tell them a thing. We're dead if you do. Do not speak, your bleating offends my ears. Just stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting detect thoughts. Nothing even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. Oh. 
A worthless kill. No sport. If this one was even slightly useful, I might spare him. Unlikely. But it costs me nothing to spare your sorry life. Very well, Istik. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go! I required your silence, and you made me a mockery! A Kithrak demanded my head! I should have given him yours. Bah! This is a distraction. The Kithrak deserves the whole of my scorn. How dare he speak my queen's name? How dare he dishonor her child? Yes. Judicious counsel. And vexing, given the source. I am a child of Gith. I will abide by protocol and seek the Kresh Gustil, as Vlakith has taught. And then... Then I will skewer the heretic with his own silver sword. The Kresh is near. This much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles just still Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape, nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you, an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my... Feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the 
pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. The voice is gone. Muted by this... this gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. I... I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. No need to thank me. This is out of pure necessity. Pure desperation, in fact. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. I know those symbols. Githyanki runes. Ancient as Vlakith herself. You stole that from my people. Yes. And a lot of my people died in the process. I won't fail them. Not after what I saw your kind do to them. A powerful artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the Absolute itself, the three figures in the vision, the Chosen are searching for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you, you have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination, at any cost. No doubt the Githyanki will seek to reclaim that which is theirs. Do you still do not know what it even is? I trust you more than most, but I'm sorry. That's too much to ask. This is my responsibility. If you insist, but make it quick. We have far bigger concerns. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. I know those symbols. Githyanki Ru- Yes. A powerful the three for you of a shadow, no doubt. The do you still do not know what it even is? 
For now. But any crimes against my kin will be answered for in time. I just saved you. Keep that in mind next time you want to air your grievances. She's coming. Well, buddy, I thought it was time I dropped by the doghouse. Mizora. The one and only. You haven't introduced me to your friends. Where are your manners? Oh, you flatterer. Why, if I had a heart, I'm sure it would be skipping. Call me Mizora. I'm Will's patron, the fount of his power. Your warlock friend is my puppy. And he's been a very good boy. I say fetch, and he'll fetch. I say kill a fugitive tiefling, and... Well, I don't need to tell you. You said... Devils only. She was a tiefling, not a monster. Clause G, Section 9. Target shall be limited to the infernal, the demonic, the heartless, and the soulless. Cheer up, Buttercup. Karlak had no heart. You did the world a favor. More to the point, you obeyed. Kill me? I wouldn't recommend it. I die, and Will turns to a Lemur and gets sucked right down to the hells. Which reminds me. Pleasure? Shame that tadpole's gone and pissed on your party. But I'll be damned if it goes pissing on mine. I've got some errands to do. But don't you fret much, pup. I'll be back in three shapes of your tail. Keep an eye on him, will you? I'll be keeping mine on you. Oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta.
I want to have a word. Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Why, I never. You're paranoid, aren't you? Must be the surroundings. Rather bleak and lonesome. One feels so exposed. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably, but a savior, that's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull? Two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. Yes, I like it when my clients put up a fight, only to realize victory was never an option. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services.
There are many answers to that question. None are important.